This is Eric from Pack Hacker, and today we're comparing the Peak Design Mobile Tripod and the Joby Grip Tight One Micro Stand. If you find this video helpful, make sure you subscribe so we can continue making content like this to help you travel smarter. Let's dive in. So as you can see from the jump here, that these are two very different stands, tripods, whatever you want to call them. We'll start with the Peak Design, and as you can see, this is made of metal. So this is aluminum, and you do need a MagSafe uh, compatible device to use this with, um, or you can get a case that is MagSafe compatible as well. I have an iPhone 11 here, which does have that capability. So it just kind of sticks on the back of your phone here, and it stays on there pretty tight. If you shake it a bunch, it might come tumbling off, but I typically only have it on there when I know I'm gonna need it. Like, I'm not just gonna have it on there when I'm coming to and from work, if I'm you know driving or riding the bus or something, like I know I don't really need this, but while I'm traveling, if I know I might wanna take a video, a picture or something like that, you just pop these legs out like this, and then you have a little tripod here. So just the way it fits natively, it is vertical like that, but you can change it to horizontal mode. It is kind of hard to, um, get it to secure properly sometimes in horizontal mode, but after you use it for a while, you kind of get it used to it and it sticks. Um, but if you like jiggle it around a little bit, it might slip a little bit because you have to line up those magnets perfectly. Um, but it is nice that you can do both, which you can't do over here with the Joby. So I'm gonna switch over to the Joby here. This is a, just a completely different device, to be honest. They do similar things, but just a very different device. So this one has, you know, I should mention they both have little grippies on the end there, so little silicone feet. So that kind of helps them from like moving around too much. But as you can see, the Joby here can only go uh, horizontal like that. So you can only go like, if you're watching a video, that makes sense. Or if you're watching a TikTok, maybe not. But if you're taking a video or a picture, you can only go that way. You can't um, transition it to the other side. So this doesn't use magnets. It just has this little, I think this is the grip tight part of the micro stand. Um, but this comes in two parts, so you just undo this bottom part here, and then you can attach this to a tripod or a different mount or something like that. So I actually use this quite a bit um, when I'm you know, doing photography and stuff like that. I have my tripod with me, and if I wanna take a vertical video to take a video for TikTok or um, a reel or something like that, you just attach this onto the tripod, and then you have a vert, you can invert your tripod a little bit that way and you can take a vertical video. So that is a nice feature. And then with this bottom little stand here, you have you know a little tripod thread mount there. So you can attach a point shoot, Instax Mini or something like that. Depending how big it is, it could tumble over. Um, but as long as you line up whatever you are you know, putting on there with this line here, you're typically gonna be okay. Um, but large, like a big, like a DSLR, is, it's, it's not gonna work. And it wouldn't really give you that much clearance anyway. It's just a little small little you know, ball bearing in there. So you're not gonna really, be able to do much with that with the DSLR. But going over these two products is just, as you can see, they're very different things, but they can do similar things. So obviously you could watch a video with both of these. Um, this one is nice because it has that portability factor where you can just stick it on your phone. And this one is, again, has some perks because you can use it for different things. Again, attaching this to a tripod or using this little stand as a tripod. This is made of plastic, as you guys can probably see. It is a pretty durable plastic. I've taken this on a lot of trips with me and it is still going strong. Eventually, we have had them in the past where that little ball bearing that I talked about earlier will um, start to fail a little bit and kind of makes this part a little bit useless. But if you treat it nicely, for the most part, it should continue working. So when it comes to packability, obviously we have two very different form factors. So you're gonna be able to kind of carry this differently. Obviously this one attaches to your phone, which is a, a big plus for me because you can just keep it on your phone at all times. But I should mention that it doesn't work with all cases. So obviously if you don't have a MagSafe compatible case, it's not gonna work. Like I had typically have a speaking case on my iPhone and it's just like a cheap case, but it keeps my phone safe. It's not MagSafe compatible. So when I'm using that case, I can't use this. So I have to remove the case or get a different case to do that. But this one comes in at 2.68 ounces or 76 grams, and the Joby comes in at 1.59 ounces or 50 or sorry, 45.1 grams. So you do have a little bit of weight saved with the Joby. And then when it comes to size, you can obviously see that they, you know, they're similar in size, but the Joby does have the leg up as far as, you know, portability. But if this is attached to your phone, it doesn't really take up room in your pack or your sling. So this is something you have to bring separately. But if you're not keeping this on your phone all the time, as obviously it, um, is going to take up more room wherever you're stowing it. So there are, you know, as I've said a bunch of times, they're very similar devices, but they do very different things. I feel like this is more tailored toward a photographer, and this is tailored to someone who just wants to have the ability to 
um, have a phone stand and a tripod at a moment's notice, a ca more casual user. So there you have it, the Peak Design mobile tripod and the Joby Griptite One micro stand. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. We'll see you in the next one.